Okay, we're standing here at the EVTM workshop in Örebro and I'm standing here with Professor Ernst D. Moore from uh, Denver Shock and Trauma. Uh, regarded as a godfather in trauma and uh, the editor-in-chief of the Journal of Trauma. Welcome. Thank you. Professor Moore, looking back at your vast experience within trauma, um, what can we learn for the future? Well, I think this workshop in Orbro should remind us uh, that we should never be complacent that we're providing optimal care. Uh, the Rebola has clearly revolutionized how we've advanced care and is a stepping stone to broader use of the hybrid room and endovascular management of major bleeding. Uh, so you believe that uh, EVTM plays a major role uh, in the future of trauma care? Absolutely. I think uh, endovascular treatment uh, is only going to get broader, more broadly used. But as emphasized uh, by the group in our uh, row, it, it has to be a multidisciplinary approach to it to be safe for the patient and to use the right tools at the right time. And we're within EVTM and, and, and endovascular trauma care. There's a lot of talk about Reboa. But what other means of endovascular care are important for the future? Well, as I mentioned, I think Reboa is a stepping stone to endovascular care. And I think beyond that, then you could look at various uh, approaches phased in as the need is and the skills match that. For example, uh, there's no reason at this point, I don't think, that a trauma surgeon shouldn't be able to place a Reboa, occlude the aorta, do a flush pelvic angiogram, and embolize pelvic bleeding. Now, when you move above the uh, renal arteries, then I think it's going to take more training and more care. But at this point, for example, I think you can phase in care at the infrarenal level for trauma surgeons. And do you believe that, for example, workshops like these uh, are a way to, to introduce people to these, this type of trauma care? Oh, these workshops are wonderful. First of all, I think it does underscore the multidisciplinary approach to this issue. There are multiple facets of Rabot and endovascular care that we don't think of in our own little silo. But having open discussions and being free uh, with our opinions uh, and uh, receptive to others, uh, I think we achieve a better approach. Mm. So in November, 17th, 18th of November, uh, in Denver, Colorado, there's going to be the next Pan American EVTM Symposium. Why do you think people should attend this event? Well, I think Dr. Fox has uh, put together a very exciting program in Denver. And once again, uh, it's important for those who are entering the field to understand where we can progress and to begin to apply it to the patient safely. Okay, so thank you very much for participating in this uh, interview and uh, stay tuned to hear more from the EVTM workshop here in Örebro.